Hi, this is Joel from www.okanaganinvestmentclub.com and today we're going to talk about real estate financing 101. Now, there's a couple tools that I think you need to check out. Uh, they're great resources. One is CMHC, which is Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation. This is where they tell you all the new rules, right? So now they just implemented some changes. All the updated rules will be there and so you want to know these before you go into the bank and even try and qualify. And because each time you there's an inquiry on your credit, it makes your credit score go down. So the other thing you got to keep your eye on is your credit report. Now there's a great tool that I use called creditalert.ca. Now what this does is this gives me uh, an idea of what's happening with my credit. So if there's any activity, they send me an email that let me know there's been something happening and it tells me if there's a positive or a negative effect. So now your credit is imperative if you're going for residential or commercial qualifying. Your credit is one of your best allies, right? So let's talk a little bit about residential qualifying. Now what you want to know is what the banks are looking for if you want to borrow some money. So what they do is they take your annual income, they times it by your total debt servicing or your gross debt servicing, so that could be 30 or 32 percent, they change. So your annual income times that minus taxes or whatever other expenses they have in their ratio. So what they're trying to determine is the maximum loan amount that they're prepared to give you. So that would give them an annual amount and they would divide that by 12 to figure out how much can Mr. or Mrs. Jones borrow uh, or uh, how much are they able to pay for the loan that we're about to give them. Okay, so that's what they're looking for for residential. Now commercial is a different animal but uh, what you need to know is the criteria. So what they do is they, for commercial qualifying, they take the net operating income of the property. So instead of your personal income, they're looking at the revenue, the net, the net revenue that the property can produce. They divide that by something called the debt coverage ratio, and then they figure out what the maximum allowable annual payment is. So they divide that by 12, or they divide that by 4 for if it's quarterly payments. And that's your commercial qualifying. So if you want to know more about any of this sort of stuff, we encourage you to go to www.okanaganinvestmentclub.com. We have a ton of resources there, and we'll explain more to you and help you as best we can. Thanks.